When sculpting, you may find yourself in a situation where you want to undo back to a previous point, but only for a small section of the model. So ZBrush uh, 2021 uh, has a new feature that makes it so that you don't have to undo everything just to undo one part. So you can do undo of your own choice. So let's see it in action. I'm just going to sculpt some small details with the clay, clay brush tool on this model. Okay. Uh, maybe on his shoulder here so I will go here and I will take my clay brush tool over here so what I'm going to do is that let me make it a little smaller okay and turn off the symmetry so I will just do small you know kind of details over here with different sizes and different intensities so that's what I have done with my clay brush tool so some uh, dots I have just made uh, you know different uh, sizes so now I'm going to switch to my snake hook tool so I will just uh, be on my keyboard here and then I will search for my the snake uh, hook tool which is this one uh, BSH and once I have this one what I will do here is that I will just go back here okay and try to make some smaller details some little uh, higher details and some very wide detail let me do one thing here let me make it a little bigger and something like more wider okay so I have uh, done some simple work over here and some little bit harsh work over there. Now, um, let's say that we want to undo parts of this, but not all of it. So we can do this with the history recall brush tool. And suppose I only want to undo this. I don't want to undo this because from here, if I'll press control Z, so what happens? It undo this also and I don't want this to get undo okay so I only want this so what I can do now so here is where the history recall brush works so let's uh, uh, bring up our brushes over here and then get the history recall brush over here so if I press H on my keyboard and you will see that so this is BHR so I will take the history recall brush tool and how it works let's see so now this brush can take the shape of the model from any point in the history and apply it to any other point in the history. Usually you are going to want to take uh, something from the past and bring it into the present, but you could go a different way as well. So for example, I just want to scroll back to the undo history here. Okay, like suppose where I was, maybe here. Okay, this is where I uh, did the undo. So this is the last point where I uh, from here I created those uh, you know small dots on, on on my model so what I have to do over here is that I have to press control on my keyboard and then click on this history point and once I will click on this history point you will see it will turn into orange outline and white fit once I'm done I can take it back to where I was and you will see there is a dot over here which uh, indicates that there is a history recall recorded over here which will help the history recall brush tool to uh, draw now as we have come back to the last point in history and now it's just simple process of brushing this on so if I will go here let me change my focal length here to zero 
and if I will try to paint over here, you can see that it's undoing the process. So suppose I don't want to these brush, I want to like these parts, I only want these three. So easily I can do that. And I can go to any point and create that. So this is how actually it works. Now let's do and see uh, how it will affect. This was simple, but let's see how we can uh, work on uh, these, which are the bit you can see uh, a kind of a broad extreme one. So uh, let's see how it works on these more drastic areas. So if I will go over here, work on this one. Okay. So it took a little while to do that. Okay. Now, once it is removed, what actually it did, if I will turn on my, um, like, a, like, a, like a poly frame over here by pressing shift F, you will notice what it is doing actually is that it is kind of projecting my previous result over it. So if I will go here and start working on this one, you can see that it is projecting that. So this is where the problem comes in. So it's not that good if you are working on a very high detailed uh, areas where there are more of a uh, extreme uh, changes that you have done. It's good for when you have smaller details like these one, which will not cause an issue, like suppose here. But here it will cause an issue because the way it works is that it, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, projects your last uh, history value on your object itself. So sometimes this effect might be okay if you are just going to DynaMesh this or send it to 3D printing. Uh, but it's really, really going to be a problem for doing all kinds of other things. Like if you want to export it to a gaming engine and if you want to animate them. So that will be an issue over here. So let's uh, do another model over here and let's uh, work on something really extreme. So I will bring this dog uh, here. Okay. Now what I will do here is that let me go more extreme here. So uh, here, what I'm going to do is that I will press W on my keyboard. W is basically for the move for gizmo. Okay. And what I will do here is that I will just move it a bit, a tiny bit. And then, then I will go back to my drawing mode. And now what I can do here is that I can just go to this and do option, press control and click on it. So it will be recorded. Now I will go back here. Now I will increase my size over here to undo this. Now if I will try to undo, you will notice that it is trying to bring the dog back to where it was, but it's not clearly uh, working like the way I want it. Okay. So in this case, it usually creates problem. So you want to be careful not to try to, uh, to use this in instances where you have a made big drastic changes to the model position or even subtle changes to the model position it's really not going to like it so just like you can see here what is going on okay so you can uh, see its projection uh, like projecting it and uh, it's it's trying to project my older uh, like frame of my history to the newer one so it will bring back uh, where it was before, but it's not quite working. It has to project all the way through very far to get to where the model was moved and scaled and rotated to and then you know those, those kind of things it will be doing because uh, if you have suppose scaled it and also rotated so that will be much more uh, of an issue here. So this is probably not something that you want to have as a result. So the takeaway of the history brush is as long as the model is very close to the same position and uh, whatever you have done is very subtle. So it will work, but if you have drastic changes like the one that I had here, it might not work. 
So guys, if you like my video, please uh, hit on the like button and please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. Please give me a shout out so I can get more uh, followers and this will help me and motivate me to create more videos and courses online. So it will help you all. So help me help you with this kind of situation. And please, I will highly appreciate if you watch all my videos online instead of downloading them because it will not give me watch time hours. And not enough watch time hours will always be motivating. So guys, please help me out and take care of yourself until we meet in the next video.